Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to the 2078th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. And do I not deserve a bow for showing you that double top, dollar, double bottom thesis in the stock market? I mean, come on, guys. I'm taking a bow for that. Thank you very much. How many of you are good enough to spot something like that last Thursday and post it in video night after night, huh? So far, so good. But you know me, head down, nose to the grindstone, on to the next trade. The traders, I get it. I get it. I'm starting to look like Captain Caveman. Captain Caveman! But I can't help it. There's no way to get my hair cut right now. So we'll see what happens. All right. This video... Well, I'm going to look like, I am going to look like Captain Caveman soon enough. This video coming at you on a Thursday night for trading Friday, May 27th, 2020 is video number 2078. There are a lot of topics on this board, kids. There's a lot going on out there. So let me just remind you about the risk involved. Stops are getting tagged like crazy, but you can never trade without them. You just need really wide ones right now, but... Do not trade without stops, protective buy and sell stops. Do not trade without money unless it's earmarked to be lost in case that happens. We don't want it to, but anything can happen to you. And know that this is not suitable for all traders, all right? This is a really sick game lately. If you don't know what you're doing, it is not for widows or orphans, and it's not for people taking pop shots. You've got to be a pro to get this right. Or you've got to follow a pro, like some nut on YouTube. Maybe you could follow him and he can help you out in his live trading room. Whoever that nut might be, I don't know. But maybe you could come to my trading room and see what I can do for you at livewithoscar.com. Now, traders, what is on this board? So far, my double top in the U.S. dollar at the same time as the double bottom in the E.S. thesis is unfolding nicely, right? I mean, oh, oh my goodness, that was a great find. Now, it's not so simple. There are rules, right? Trading rules, all sorts of rules. One of them is this. A market should not take out the previous lows from the dip before. So you have a dip, market goes up. When it comes back down, if it takes out those previous lows, in my brand of analysis, that triggers a bear market. We ran up from 2006 all the way to 2020, came back and tested those lows in the form of a double bottom and held thus far. So far, so good. There's another rule. It's almost converse to this one right now. Wall Street pros, fund managers, any great traders out there know this. It is customary for a market to do what we just did, that big dip that we had, to rally up, turn around, come back, and retest the lows before advancing forward, right? And I tend to agree with that. In fact, I wrote that on the board. I tend to agree with that. But in this case, but then comes chart masterpiece to take this rule and maybe stand it on its end. Maybe... We're not going to retest those lows, and I've got a great chart with a great theory to show you why it might not happen. So number four is, but then comes chart masterpiece, which tells me maybe us pros who know the retest is coming, it might not actually happen. And then I will tell you right now, do not fall in love with the upside yet. Chart masterpiece will explain why you shouldn't. Traders, there's a lot here to absorb. I've got a lot of charts I want to show you. This is hardcore, fantastic stuff. Make sure you pay attention. Make sure you join me in my live trading room. It is free to you. No credit cards required. Just enter. Come to livewithoscar.com. Create a username and a password and enter my live chat room and you'll find me there running the room, teaching, instructing, and helping you get through my rough and tumble days. So now... I want to show you some fantastic charts that will basically sum up what I'm trying to tell you here. We've got a double bottom and it held. Thank you for finding that by finding the double top of the dollar. We know that a market is never supposed to take out 
that previous low without then triggering a bear event. We know that after you have a low, you rally and you're supposed to come back and test that low. All of us pros know that. But then Chart Masterpiece tells me maybe not. And that is very interesting. With no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Okay, traders. Since last Thursday, I've been doing videos. Thursday night, we did a video for Friday. Then on Saturday, we reiterated the same charts in that video for a Metastock conference, which was fantastic. Thank you all for showing up for that. Then again, I did another video about this just a couple of nights ago, and then again last night. So let's go over this because, boy, is it getting interesting. So my thesis was I ran into a double top in the dollar on the monthly bar, quite meaningful on a monthly. And if it gets respected, also that had a double top on the weekly dollar as well. If that gets respected, then the find of the double bottom in the transportation average and the double bottom on the E-mini monthly charts will hold and we'll find the temporary bottom. And if that happens, other markets should start to go the other way. So I thought if that dollar cracks at the double top, and we know we sell double tops when we see them, this should hold its double bottom. So far, going to a daily now, this is how far the dollar has respected that double top. When we see double tops, we sell double tops. Now that happened to the dollar. At the same time, the E-mini S&P held the bottom and started to rally. There's a new channel developing. The transportation average held that double bottom beautifully and started to rally. The Dow held when the transportation and ES held and started to rally. And the Russell came out of the hole and started to rally. So, so far, the dollar double top stock market double bottom thesis is working out just fine. Now, I also mentioned if that dollar starts to drop and respects the double top, markets like gold would come back, which it has so far, right? Look at how much that's come back. And markets like euro currency would come back. And so far that has. And here's where things get really interesting. Check this chart out. Hello, chart masterpiece. Kids, I broke out the heavy guns. I have used this chart on three separate occasions. During 2008, during 2012, and 2020. It is the only time I've needed to refer to this chart. It goes way, way back. All the way back to 2008. This entire channel goes back to 2008 without being breached at all. You'll also note the 200 ball moving average almost never gets breached. It got breached and it came down to my big gun averages. I kid you not, they haven't come in play since 2008. We haven't seen these averages since then. Back in play, the market gets under the average, pops back up into the channel, and is now sitting at the 200 ball moving average. Let me blow this up for you a little bit. Got down through my super averages came back up, and it is literally sitting right here at the moment. Interesting, isn't it? Now, this chart, let me just show you how it goes all the way back to 2008. Remember these channels, or I should say these averages, right? We go all the way back to 2008. This is the top. This is the 2008 nine lows, 2008 crack. You see, when we got below those, we cracked. When we got back above, we never seen it again till now in 2020. So what I'm showing you is that we're back in a channel that starts in 2009, and if we can stay above those averages, we'll go back up. It'll just go back to the whole chart again. This is chart masterpiece. Now, is this another death knell or magic bullet? Last time, 2008, it was a death knell. We got under this and had a severe crack. This time, we actually held and got back to the 200. That is what I wanted to show you. This is very, very interesting. And maybe, just maybe, instead of retesting this low, the new pattern is we retested the double bottom lows from 2016. It took four years. 
maybe we don't test this low again for a couple of years. Maybe that's the new pattern because the market is so much more expensive and so much bigger now than it ever was that getting back to do a retracement is not as easy as it used to be. Maybe that's what's going on here, kids. More in a moment. Okay, traders, now you've seen all of that. And we've got an Omni telling us to buy the dips, and that means a deep dip. We're not just going to walk out there and buy, you know what I mean? It's got to go, and then maybe we'll get long. However, with all that information I just showed you, do not fall in love with the upside anyway, because we don't know if that's going to work, and there is this. The reality of what's happening right now before our eyes is this. Congratulations to the United States in a bad way because we have just taken over. We are the most infected country on the planet. We have surpassed even China. That's reality, kids. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, it's an anti-race. We didn't want to win, but we're winning that race, and it's a bad one. So that is looming big. Now we're going to go back to rule number three, where Wall Street pros, fund managers, and great traders do expect a retest of those lows. The previous lows we just made a few days ago, most managers, fund managers, expect us to test them again if it holds. You can buy, but maybe, as I was saying, the theory is this. We had it low in 2016. We came all the way back four years later and tested it. Now we're heading up. Maybe you don't test it again. That's it. Maybe that's what happens. So, just wanted to point that out to you. We will be very careful buying the dips for trading on Friday. We will take profits when we can get them. Stops go in first. You hear those alerts going off, right? I'm going to have to get out of here. Traders, that's it for now. Be safe. Put your stops in first. Come join me at livewithoscar.com. Remember, if you're going to buy dips, huge, big dips, big, deep dips, okay? Don't just jump on in. Hang out with me in my live trading room for free at livewithoscar.com. And remember to keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things I can do to tell you to keep those emotions at bay is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening. And you know. Oscar.com, and I promise as soon as I get a chance, I'll get my Captain Caveman shaved off. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.